but when you go to an expert and you tell them I saw this, this and this, you recorded what you saw, mm-hmm. he'll be able to tell you this one is this disease, this one is this pest. Mm-hmm. If, if technology take a picture, uh-huh. there are even apps that also help you even identify it. Uh-huh. The physical and also the cultural ways of controlling. Of controlling, yes. Absolutely. Let's take family as a business, yes. not a retirement plan. Uh-huh. In our first lesson or the, the, the lesson that you shared with us, yeah. which has been yeah, so many farmers have appreciated the training, they have appreciated the learning and they are so happy because at the moment they can uh, they can be able to identify to Tapsoluta. They can be able to tell this is what to Tapsoluta is. They can be able to differentiate to Tapsoluta from the, the, the other miners and the other crop pests. Now uh, they want to know or we want to know the solution to Tuta Absoluta. We have identified Tuta Absoluta, this is Tuta Absoluta, this is the biggest. Mm-hmm. Now, what is our approach? Because you've been talking of many approaches. Tuta Absoluta is not, uh, you, you told us it's not something that you wake up with one product and you've done with it. What, which approach do we approach Tuta Absoluta? Because we don't want to keep it. Uh, I, I, to, uh, I, I told them that the strategy is identify the enemy, know the enemy, and then kill the enemy. Yes. So how do we kill this enemy? You see, for Tuta Absoluta, yes. for you to control it is very easy. Uh-huh. The first step in controlling Tuta, yes. you, I, I like to use a approach called IPM. Integrated IPM, Integrated, integrated pest, pest Management. management. Yes. yes. Uh-huh. Integrated pest management mm-hmm. use different techniques yes. to be able to control this tutor. Okay. Um, for today, I'll be a bit biased and mostly concentrate on the chemical, which is always the last stage. Yes? The last stage, yes. But um, I'll also touch a little on other other aspects. Yeah, because to my understanding as an agronomist, uh, uh, the, the integrated pest management, eh? uh, Kali is the biological control, yes. Kali is the physical control, the cultural control. The cultural control. Yes, and the the last one is the chemical, chemical control. control yes. uh, the, before we, we go to the chemical control, I think we can a uh, little bit uh, touch on, on the, the biological, the physical, and the cultural. Yes. Now we, we finalize with the, with the chemical control. Because if you mentioned chemical control, at this point, somebody will leave the class uh, thinking that they have understand now the solution. Now I think it's, it's going to go systematically. Okay. Yes. Um, for the physical, eh? yes, there, there are things that their normal practices is the physical control. Physical control, yes. There phys- are normal practices that you're supposed to do on a farm. Uh-huh. The watering, yes. the nutrition, uh-huh. and uh, weeding. Because, uh-huh. as we said, eh, something like black nightshade, yes, is also a is not so a brother to tomatoes. Yes. They are affected by the same pest. Yes. Yes. Let's say, for example, uh-huh. you have black nightshade as a weed in your in your farm. Okay. Yes. So this tutor will be here, and also it will be at your uh, at your tomatoes. Yes. Yes. Uh, in during my research, I also learned huh? mm-hmm. if your tuto, tomato is not fed well, mm-hmm. it's not getting a lo- uh, adequate water. Yes. Not it's adequate water. Yes. Go to better adequate enough adequate water, water. Yes. not just water. Not water. Not enough just, water. Yes. Add little bit of milk. Yes. Uh-huh. Not excess and not little. Not little. Yes. Adequate water. Yes. Uh, enough uh, the correct nutrition. Uh-huh. It is more prone to be attacked by tutor. Repeat that again. If it it doesn't get enough water. Enough water. It's more prone for tutor absolute. Attack. Enough uh, enough water. Uh-huh. Nutrition, nutrition, and also the cleanness. Cleanness is weed control. Weed control, yes. Yes, it's more prone. It's more prone to to tap to tap and many other pests. Yes. So for you to make sure that some of these pests are not affecting your, your farm, yes, or your crop, mm-hmm. the first one is cleanliness of your farm, mm-hmm. proper nutrition, yes, adequate water, mm-hmm. and other practices that you can do. Okay. The other one is yes. scouting. 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 Talking of scouting. Yes. 
this is what we discussed in our previous class yes. in our previous stream yes for those who joined us in this stream yes. also we, the, the identification is what you are referring as scouting yes. to come identify the enemy so yes. what about scouting scouting for the best practices always at least make sure in a period of one week yes at least three times you scout three times or even more at least when it, it the most the least is three times is three times yes because during scouting mm -hmm. you can be, be able to identify for example in tomatoes mm -hmm. tutor yes. there's some diseases even within two days you identify them yes so scouting is very key okay so if you do not do your scouting a scouting for those people who do not understand what is scouting is go through your farm and see observing taking the details why is your why is your tomato maybe that dull where is your tomato? Which pest is this? Mm -hmm. Such things and diseases. Yes. Always make sure you walk throughout your farm. Yes. Don't just walk on the edges. Each and every plant. Talk, talk to each and talk, every plant. Walk. Yes. Yes. That will help you to be able to create a very good chemical program, pest control program, that will be able to assist your farm. And during this scouting, to cut to short, uh, Moliwe, yes. during this scouting, are we recording or are we just walking, trying to identify whether there is a problem? Do we need a recording sheet where if there is anything we record down or just walking is, and checking the leaves is, is, is enough? The best, the best way as a farmer, yes. though most of us do not practice that, eh? you have to have a book. Mm -hmm. You record, I saw this and this. Mm -hmm. You might not be able to see which disease or which pest is that. Yes. But when you go to an expert and you tell them, I saw this, this and this, you recorded what you saw, mm -hmm. he'll be able to tell you, this one is this disease, this one is this pest. Mm -hmm. But if you just walk, you might walk and uh, maybe, in other cases even, you're told even take a sample. If it is possible, take a small sample and take it to the, if you have an... To, to, to a, the expert. The expert. Yes. If you're not able to identify it. Also with technology, take a picture. If, if, if technology, take a picture. Uh -huh. There are even apps that also help you even identify. Uh -huh. Though it's not 100% accurate, but uh -huh. it, it helps you give an idea of what you can okay. identify. Yes. But now, the, the most important is uh, the, the physical learning. All the app alone can be able to, to help you. The app is good, eh? yes. but it's also made by humans. Yes. So yes. there is a chance of error. Yes. There is also error. Uh -huh. There's also, so the best is always, you walk through the farm, yes. take a picture where you're not be able to understand. Yes. Also, when your agronomist tell you, you also research about that. Mm -hmm. Get an idea of what you're being able to do. Yes. Yes. Then from that, you get an expert mm -hmm. who is going to tell you this and this is what is happening. Yes. And the product that you're going to use is this and this. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so that, those are some of the... I don't know, at least I've, I've tackled the most uh, the physical and also the cultural ways of controlling. Of controlling, yes. Two types of For the biological, uh, mm -hmm. there are things that are called like uh, traps. The, the biological the traps. traps. The biological the traps. pheromones. Yeah, the pheromones. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That is one of the ways. Yes. There are also other products that are biologically that are able to control the pests. Yes. Which um, I may not be able to mention them today, mm -hmm. but uh, they, are, they are products. I think we need we need we need we need another class, different class for the biological because these are very wide class that means hours and hours for for, for, for farmers to be able to uh, to get the information. Yes. But at least whatever we are getting for now is enough. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. So uh -huh, for biologicals, the traps, uh, pheromones, you are the, you are done. Mostly for the pheromones, it's always either mass trapping. Mm -hmm. If you put so many traps, it's always mass trapping yes. or identification. Identification. If you put uh, the people who must trap the adults, they are using the, the, the basin. Yes, the basin. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And there are people who also they use the traps to identify if their species or okay. presence. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, after the biological, now we go to the chemical. Uh -huh. This one is always the last stage. Yes. When all the other methods have failed, mm -hmm. you go now to the chemical. Yeah. In the chemical, there are very many products out there, mm -hmm. but today I'll personally I'll not name a product that I, that maybe you can go and talk 
I think so the other expert, but what I'll name in yeah. this way. Yeah, but on, the, on the same word, eh? you know, you know, um, this class is not here on East Africa community alone. Yes. It's an, it, the whole is a world thing, it's the whole African thing. So uh, by, by just mentioning a product, you may end up confusing somebody somewhere because yes. what is sold here is not sold in West Africa, is not sold in South Africa, yes, yes. is not sold in, in the upper part of Africa. Yes, so yes. by but by the molecule or the active ingredient, people can easily trace yes. because different the same molecules trade with different treatments. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So so I think it's it's wise for you uh, to share with us uh, the, the, the molecules. Yes. For the molecule, especially if you buy a product, mm -hmm. it's uh, especially for the East African products. Yes. It's always written active ingredient. Yes. Stroke, especially Kenya, thamana. Stroke thamana. Thamana. Yes. That the Swahili name of uh, uh, active ingredient. Active ingredient. Yes. Uh -huh. So for the, I, I, I just mentioned about three active ingredients, but there are many. Yes. These are not the only products that are there. Yes. The other many, but I, I, I think I'll mention about three. Mm -hmm. Then the rest. Yeah, be, 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 before you mention the the molecule, uh, what product to use? Eh? In our previous class, you gave us the identification of uh, different uh, of different stages of tutopsilin, which was the eggs, which was the, the larva, mm -hmm. which was the pupa. Yes, yes. Whatever you are feeding us, or well, the information you are sharing with us, of uh, is it uh, are these products going to eliminate all these stages or uh, is it um, active ingredient that eliminate eggs, active ingredient that eliminate lava and the one that eliminate adult? I think you can also touch on that so that it, it, it can be more clear to us. For that one, it's, it's, it's a very wide topic. <laughs> uh, that one is, means that I describe an, an active ingredient. Not necessarily an active ingredient, but you can just by mentioning it, tell us this active ingredient works well. Uh, lava stage, uh, lava stage, mm -hmm. uh, and um, pupa and the, uh, the adult. All mm -hmm. it clears everything. Mm -hmm. Like in biological, you know, we are so sure it's it's the adult stage. Yes, yes, yes. When you talk of a biological trap, it mm -hmm. doesn't work on the lava stage. Yes, yes, yes. So, for the for the active ingredient that you are mentioning, mm -hmm. which stage is all it's just good for all, for all stages, mm -hmm. development stages. Yes. Most most of these active ingredients, mm -hmm. they always target at the, most of them, eh? not mm -hmm. all, eh? mm -hmm. most of them always target at the level stage. Level stage, which, which is, is the feeding stage. Which is the feeding stage. Okay. Because for mm -hmm. the eggs, they're mm -hmm. just there, they mm -hmm. hatch. Yes. For the, for the, uh, la the, the larvae, eh? that yes. is where they feed. Yes. Pupa stage, mm -hmm. that is where they, it, it's just they are growing. It's no feeding. Yes. For the adult, it's just laying eggs. Out there, flying in at night. Yeah, flying at night. Yes. So, in most most of these active ingredients, mostly target the larvae. The larvae stage. Yes, but oh. there are some which target the egg mm -hmm. and the larvae. Yes. There are some which target also the adult, especially the biological, as mm -hmm. you've said. Yes. But most of them, they either target most of them target the larvae. Mm -hmm. But there are some which also touch the egg. Okay. Yes. Ah. yes. So, which are these active ingredients or which are these products? Some of them is uh, the emamectin benzoate. Emamectin benzoate. It's one of the active ingredients uh -huh. that uh, is controlled. Yes. It is mostly used for the leptodera. That is the caterpillar family in foods. Yes, in, in the caterpillar. And, uh, and uh, just uh, out of class, eh, of food of solution, I've seen the. Uh, I'm making the which also controlling uh, the fall army worm. Yes, it's also it's also a a worm, fall army worm. Fall and oh, okay, okay. It's a worm. The last stage of two of solution is still a caterpillar. Yes, it's a caterpillar. Okay, okay. Yes. Uh huh, uh huh. There is a mammating benzoin. Uh -huh. There is a spinosad. Spinosad also. Uh huh. Spinosad. Spinosad. Uh huh. There is Indoxicap uh -huh, uh -huh. and uh, many, many others. Yes. Let me just name, mention those ones for today. Yes. But there are many others. Yes. So we said the emamectin benzoid. Yes. We said spinosad. Spinosad, yes. Uh, there is um, uh, Indoxicap. Indoxicap. Yes. And uh, for, the, for today, let us mention those. <laughs> the, 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 the three. Yes. Okay. Now, 
the drip products because uh, I understand um, like we've said uh, amamectin benzoate controls also folamoum and folamoum is really visible when I, I go spraying the maize folamoum is really visible yes. and now the root absoluta hides between the leaf it's yes. in between the leaf yes. so how how is the action of this active ingredient to the to, to the caterpillar there are these active ingredients mm -hmm. they are either systemic mm -hmm. or they, they come on the vein on the they, they get into the leaf the translamina translamina yeah. uh -huh, uh -huh. for that order yes the translamina yes so when they feed that is when it gets into the body of the of the tutor absoluta uh -huh. and it as i said you can either dry it something like that all those ways on which they can kill the tutor absoluta okay yes so once spread like for the um the, the, uh, the systemic one it get into the system of the plant yes and through feeding you kill tutor absoluta yes. not just contact the the, the, the chemical leaches the tutor absoluta and it kills it no the, it it depends. There are some which are even nerves. Mm -hmm. They, they interfere it, with the nerve system. They interfere with the nerve system. But now, for for it to reach the tutor absoluta, it has first to feed. It has first to feed. Then it kills the tutor absoluta. Yes, yes, yes. This is the best class. Yes. This is the best class. Oh, uh, I think I think um, I now need to be coming with a notebook, but uh, with the recording I can always refer, yes. and also I'll share with my farmers for them to to be able because these are ripe lights. Yes. Um, thank you, uh, Julius, for for the good classes you've you've shared with us from identification. Now you've also given a solution now to control the absoluta. We are now good farmers. We are now better farmers uh, by the class you've shared with us, by the lessons you've shared with us, and we are so grateful. We'll keep coming for more. We are not we are not going to let you stay with your research and all the information without coming for more. We should come and learn about more uh, more pests. Also, those who may be having a question about the absolute, they can share the question with us uh, so that we, I can bring them to you and to be able to clarify and uh, so that we can better our family because we, we destroy the food. We are done and we cannot be able to to be in business okay. yes parting yes. short what can you tell farmers um let's take in let's take farming as a business yes not a retirement plan because uh -huh. uh, most people take it as a retirement plan yes. but let us take it as a business uh -huh. as other people the way someone goes to a bank every day works as a teller or a manager somewhere yes. let's take farming as well as a, as a job yeah. that you can wake up early morning go farm your product product your plant mm. get your produce yes. sell it and also get money mm -hmm. that is my parting shot thank you julius yes for the good information yeah. and um, I've, I've learned a lot from you okay. farmers have also learned a lot from you yes. uh for those who are this is your first time you're watching us this is your first time you're tuned to this channel don't forget to subscribe so that you can continue getting the information and if you left your book in this class save the video for your left lens and let to be better farmers. Bye. Bye.